What's up? What's up? This is Jonathan Mathis, the sports judge. Thanks for watching all my videos. Thanks for keeping up with the content and hanging out with me as I talk about sports. I really appreciate it. Let's get right to it. Let's get to one of the biggest stories in the NBA. I know the NBA Finals is, is underway right now. We currently have a game. Um, it's game five. Um... Warriors versus Celtics. It's in San Francisco, but I'll talk about that a little bit later. Right now, I want to talk about LeBron because, you know, there's been a lot of conversation about him um, having this desire to buy an NBA team. Um, it may not be anytime soon, but definitely in the future, he is considering buying an NBA team. And if there's one NBA player that can do it, at the end of his career, it is LeBron James. LeBron James has that business acumen. He definitely is a savvy and smart individual, and he definitely can own the NBA team. I, I think he um, would definitely uh, be deserving of an NBA team. And now that LeBron James is official is officially um, has officially become a millionaire, uh, he has a lot of leverage. Um, when it comes to owning a team. So he very well uh, can be an owner of his own NBA franchise. And I think he will. I think he will. I think the NBA owes it to him. I think he's well deserving of it. Look, he's been the face of the league for a very long time now. Uh, you know, he's one of the popular faces of the NBA. Um, he, he already has ownership. Um, you know, you look at what he's been able to accomplish while playing basketball is simply amazing. Uh, James has become a partner in in the Fenway Sports Group, uh, which means he is part owner of the Boston Red Sox, Liverpool, uh, among those. So, I mean, this guy already has part ownership, um, you know, and and has some stake in a baseball team and a soccer team. It's it's really amazing while he's still playing. Uh, now he reaches billionaire status. So now he can do a lot more with his money. He can definitely be an owner. And, you know, he, he, he mentioned that he wants to own an NBA team, specifically in Las Vegas. Now, of all potential markets, Vegas makes a lot of sense. Uh, Vegas is one that's up there. Vegas is a great uh, place to uh, have an NBA team. And v Vegas, as we know, has become a major sports market. Uh, they have the NHL Golden Knights. They have now the NFL Raiders. Uh, so they have the NFL and the NHL there. And now they can actually add an NBA team. Um, and... I think it would be great. I, I, I think it would be awesome to see. It's a no-brainer that, you know, that taking an NBA team to Vegas would not only draw a lot of interest, but it would create a lot of revenue for the city of, of Las Vegas, as if they don't already have enough. Vegas is an attractive city uh, to host an NBA team. Um, Vegas is a boom town for sports, as we all know. You know, so I like this idea. I, I think it, it works great for um, both the city and the NBA. And we all heard that, you know, other another city is considered other cities are considered as well another city it would be seattle you know um it wouldn't be anything new because we've seen the team in seattle before so i mean it, it really wouldn't be the first time um to see the supersonics back um but I, I mean vegas really stands out as one of the most potential spots you know and and if you Listen to recent rumors and reports. Um, you know, there's a lot of belief that the NBA might be looking to introduce a couple of expansion teams in the near future. I know Adam Silver said he wasn't really getting into any of that. 
that he said they wouldn't be discuss, discussing it at this time. Um, I think it's a great discussion to be had because you can you can add a couple of it expansion teams and, and have your eyes set on cities like Las Vegas and Seattle. And LeBron, man, I think, you know, we, we see, we often label him as the general manager of the Lakers, right? We, al- we often place blame on him for the way the Lakers performed poorly last season, correct? You can say that he's not too business savvy, but I mean that would be that would be hard to suggest given the fact that he how much stuff he he has ownership of at such a young age. It's incredible what this man has accomplished. Um, but you know, I like I like the idea of LeBron owning his own franchise. Again, it's a boom town for sports. With a lot of people there, they're ready to support a local NBA franchise. There's been people there calling for an NBA franchise. I think the NBA is getting to a point where they're expected to announce two new expansion teams. And I think both of the cities will be Seattle and Las Vegas. And I think uh, once LeBron's career comes to an end, once his NBA career comes to an end, he will own an NBA team. He's determined you know, that's one of his goals. He has expressed the desire to own an NBA team. I don't see why he couldn't own an NBA team. He definitely has the money. Uh, he can get involved with with a group of people, and they could come together and, and, and you know, form a great partnership and, and purchase an NBA team. You know, it's exciting to think about what a Vegas team might look like. We already have a concept. Uh, called the Las Vegas Venom. I don't know if any of you guys heard. Um, and I seen the the concept. I seen the jersey, the Sin City uh, edition jerseys. They're pretty dope. They're fire. I, I like the jerseys. I think they're very cool. I would love to see a team in Vegas. I hope this really does happen. Uh, I hope it does come to fruition. And I hope that LeBron is uh, blessed to someday own his own. NBA team. He's very deserving of ownership. Um, I think the NBA can facilitate, you know, his uh, desire and aspiration to someday be an owner of a, of an NBA team. And this will be great for the NBA. And please don't compare him to Michael Jordan. I mean, that's an unfair comparison. We all know how poor of an owner Michael Jordan has looked. But at the end of the day, he's still a man. He's still the man, as you can see behind me. I don't think I think I've said enough. I don't think I have to say much more if you just look at my background. But, but, I wanted to come on. I wanted to chat a little bit about LeBron and this Vegas idea. I, I think it's great for the league. Um, and I think uh, one day LeBron will be a successful NBA owner. Um, He definitely has the knowledge. Um, He definitely knows the game of basketball. So, I I mean, it it makes a lot of sense. It it really makes a lot of sense, and I can see this happening. I'll see you guys later. I'm going to get back to the NBA game now. Uh, I'll see you guys in a little while, most likely after the game, to do an NBA Finals video. Till next time, take care and enjoy the game. Peace.